Hi everyone, this is Vlad from Modulus Render and in today's tutorial we're going to talk about lighting this scene with SketchUp and Enscape. Let's take a look through the scene. We have a room, we have some openings for the light to come through, uh, some furniture, this great chair by Pierre Janeret, uh, some lamps and some lighting. Now the look we want to achieve we can see in this reference photo is something similar to this. Uh, we want a well-lit interior with very very soft shadows like these over here. Now the way to achieve this in uh, Enscape and I'm just gonna turn Enscape on so we can have a look. Right? Over here with the default values for the sun, uh, we have a very bright sun and very uh, dark interior overall. So the first thing we want to do is use different light sources to mimic the sun so we can have those really nice and soft shadows. I'm going to open up the settings tab, go to atmosphere and here where it says sun brightness, you'll notice if we turn down the sun the intensity of the sun, the room will become uh, more blue or will have a bluish tint because of the, the yellow color of the sun going away and it's being replaced by the, the blue color of the sky. But in this case, we don't really want any sun at all. We just want to mimic those indirect shadows or indirect light that produces those types of shadows. So we're just going to turn the sun down to zero. So it looks like this. Let me make this window a little bit smaller so we can see. Now in SketchUp, I want to build, let's say, a fake sun to mimic those uh, types of shadows that if we take a closer look, it looks like they have even multiple shadows. It looks like we have multiple light sources that are casting different shadows, different very soft shadows, and the result are these types of um, multiple layers for the shadows. So how can we do that? I'm gonna build a guideline over here for my sun. So my sun or my fake sun is going to po be pointing that way from here. And we're going to use some spotlights to mimic that fake sun. Let me just put it here and over maybe over here and leave it like that. Now we'll see the result on the right and because I want multiple shadows, not just one shadow, I'm going to make multiple copies, let's say five, and I'm going to do the same on the other direction, maybe like this, and five more. Now the beam angle I'm going to push it up to 90, so we have a large beam angle, and the intensity, as you can see here, these shadows are starting to appear. Let me just make this bigger, like that. You see these lines over here are created by multiple um, spotlights. Well, let's make it even higher, a little bit higher, something like that. You see even over here we have this effect of multiple shadows over there. It looks pretty good, but the overall interior is still pretty dark, so we need to compensate. Let's just go here. The way I compensate the lighting is with um, some sort of portal lights. 
that I will put in the windows. Now for the portal lights, I'm going to use the line light in Enscape because I found it gives um, very soft shadows. So I'm going to make sort of a neon light like this. And make a panel, let's say, well, five again. And group these together. And I'm going to put this somewhere in the window. In all of the windows. Maybe two over here. here and here and make them a little bit brighter I'm looking now at the floor so I want the floor to be well lit to have that feel or that mood that we saw in the reference image something like this now it's beginning to look a lot better And if we need more light, then we can take one of these panels and move it on the other side. If it's not too much. Ooh, it's too much. Well, in that case, we can put a light in this lamp so we have some secondary or accent lights over there to bring some detail in the picture. So we're going to put a sphere light over here. Yeah, something like that. Maybe make it a little bit warmer. And this is it as far as lighting is concerned. We turned off the sun we made our little fake sun over here with uh, with multiple light sources with multiple spotlights so we have that um, nice soft shadow over here and over there and then we used uh, some sort of uh, portal light in the windows so we have this nice uh, well-lit interior with a lot of ambient light. Now we just have to find a nice camera angle and we can hit render. This is the final rendering that I did using this method. If you found this information useful, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. And I'll see you in the next tutorial.